Hi, today we're going to look at running the Endo Setup Wizard. The wizard itself has four steps. The first step is your company information. This information will allow you to complete some of the information that was already entered on the registration page. It also allows you to confirm the year-end date for your company. This is the date that your accounts are typically closed and a new financial year has begun. The system allows you to set a lock date, which is the date before which all transactions in the system will be locked. This is typically set to your previous year-end date. The system also allows you to set a rolling lock date, which is the date before which all transactions are locked. If you are registered for tax or VAT, then you can enter your tax reference number here, and you can also enter your company reference number. The time zone is the time zone that you entered on the registration screen. Now we'll move on to step two. On step two, the system allows you to add in a bank account. Typically, your bank account will be an equity account. It will often be called your current account or normal business trading account. On the screen, you can enter uh, account name, sort code, account number. You can enter an IBAN code if you have one, country, and currency. On step three, we can add customers and suppliers. We will put in a sample customer. The selection of country is important as this will influence some tax calculations, particularly in relation to EU and non-EU transactions. And we will save this contact. The system adds contacts to this table below and you can add as many as you like, uh, customers or suppliers. We will now move on to step four. In step four, it allows us to set opening balances on the accounts. Part of this includes setting an opening date for the accounts, which is the date that you will first start using Endo. If you wish to set opening balances, then you can add them in here. First you select an account, then you select whether you, whether you wish to credit or debit this account. You can add a description if you want, it's not mandatory, and then an amount. If you wish to apply tax to this amount, then you can select a tax rate here. In this case we won't, and then we'll add that opening balance. Sorry, zero tax. And now that opening balance has been added. The system allows us to add as many opening balances as we want. So when we press the next button, the setup wizard will be finished.